Families may be looking for a way to learn and explore indoors this weekend. The building for kids in Appleton is hosting a STEM day this weekend. Emily Byer joins us live with more. Morning, Em. Good morning, Brooke and Fish. Happy Wednesday. We are having so much fun here at the Building for Kids. We are back in the Innovation Lab. I'm joined by Katie Compton, and we have a little visitor here this morning. Tell us a little bit more about Pete the Cat. We do. We have uh, one of our favorite friends here is Pete the Cat. <laughs> he uh, visits quite a bit at the Building for Kids. Uh, kids and families love him. He, he's one of our st storybook star characters, so he has, he has different stories that we have about him and different activities. Yeah, and he's just having fun right now with actually one of the exhibits that you guys are going to be doing as part of the program on Saturday, which is free for everyone. Yep, so Saturday is our STEM free day, and that is sponsored by our friends at Gulfstream. And what we're going to do is have two of our Storybook Stars um, programs with Pete the Cat. So they're special STEM ones for Pete. Um, so they're at 1030 and 130. And what we're going to do is read the story about Pete um, going to space camp and learning about space. And then we're going to make lunar landers, which yeah. is what Pete is playing with at the moment. I think he's letting <laughs> his cat tendencies come over and knocking him down. But So the kids will get all of these different... Um, different supplies and they can make their own little lunar landers. Very cool. So they've got the photo here too to kind of work off of. So this is pretty cool. I love this. So this is just a really fun day for kids to get involved and learn a little bit too. Yep, and so uh, all of our activities will be STEM focused, so that's science, technology, engineering, and math. And then we're going to have special programs like Pete the Cat with the STEM time. And then Professor Gizmo is coming. Um, he's a big favorite. He does a hands-on science presentation. Okay. And he's going to be uh, in twice, too, I believe, at 9.30 and at 3.30. And then during the middle of the day, we have different community partners coming in and doing hands-on activities with the kids then, too. <laughs> And looking around this room, this is there's a lot of fun projects for the kids to really get in there, get hands-on and explore. This is just going to be a really fun day. And you were telling me that Pete the Cat is pretty popular for a lot of kids. I, I didn't know this, but tell me, what are the age group that really like Pete the Cat? Yeah, Pete the Cat is popular, kind of toddler all the way up through, you know, 8 to 10 now because he does have the, like, I can read books so the kids yeah. can read them by, their, by themselves. A lot of them have some really good themes. Um, they talk about, you know, kind of being friendly, sharing, things like that. So they're, they're good things for toddlers to learn. Sure. So you guys got to come on out on Saturday and meet Pete the Cat. We'll send it back to you guys. <laughs> all right. Thanks, Emily. I'm having a hard time understanding what activity he was doing there. He was like... Setting up a spaceship and knocking it down. <laughs> what so are you doing? Kids, when you make yours, make sure that thing stands up. I'd be yelling at my kid if he was doing that. <laughs> That's Pete the Cat, apparently. <laughs> that still looks like a fun event. Mm -hmm. And you know what? This weekend, there may be a little bit of rain. I'm going to tie.